In this video, we'll walk through installing and configuring a CData ODBC driver on a Linux system using the Unix ODBC driver manager. In this walkthrough, we'll configure connecting to Salesforce data, but we have ODBC drivers that allow you to connect to over 90 big data, NoSQL, and SAS sources. Start by opening the terminal. First, we need to install the necessary dependencies. Next, we'll install the Unix ODBC driver manager. This application allows us to create and configure driver definitions and DSNs, or data source names, on our machine. Once the necessary dependencies and Unix ODBC are installed, we are ready to install the driver. Download the appropriate version of the driver from our website and install the package. It is worth noting that the bitness of the driver refers to the bitness of the applications that will connect to data using the driver, not the bitness of the machine. The next step is licensing the driver. Navigate to the bin folder in the installation directory for the driver. Once there, run the install license app. If you have a product key, you can pass it as a parameter, otherwise you will install a trial license. Once the driver is installed and licensed, we can inspect and configure the driver definition and DSN. To query the defined drivers, run odbc inst q d. To see where the configuration files are installed, run odbc inst j. To see the defined DSNs, run odbc inst q s. We can edit the odbc.ini file to configure the DSN, defining the necessary connection properties and saving the file. Once the DSN is properly configured, we can connect the data using the iSQL tool included in the installation of Unix ODBC to run sample queries of our data. You are now ready to work with Salesforce data in any BI reporting ETL or custom applications in your Linux machine. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our support team by emailing support at cdata.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.